Yeah, I think we're ready to get started. I liked your, um, your hint of Korean in that when you said Yonsu. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> on the bottom, as the blue Protoss for SCA, it is Astria. And in the top right, the red Terran, playing for Team Evil Geniuses, it is Xenocider. So, keep in mind that Astria is up to one, so he's only one win away from winning this entire series. This is very true. Xeno, so, you know, I hope. Well, actually, I don't. I'm not saying hope. I'm just saying I wonder if he's going to do another proxy. And it looks like he is, because he's sending another yeah. SCV out early again. So, Xeno Center apparently seems to favor this style of Terran. He just loves to proxy things. Um, and I don't know if Astrea has. I mean, I'm sure that they've played against each other, because they're both top GMs. Um, and. Uh, or top GM level, at least. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, so he, he if he's if he is familiar with Xenocider's playstyle, um, that could explain why he's doing so well and holding so holding these weird like sort of all in things very well. But yeah, we'll have to see how this game turns out. Oh man, look at this! Ashia finally realizing what the hell is going on. He's acting. Yeah. The first time in oh series, my god. Game four, sending out his first scout. All right, so he's gonna get to the base, see nothing right at the ramp. He's gonna do a quick run around at the base and know that Xeno's doing the exact same thing once again. Yeah. Um, we'll and see if it actually is the exact same thing or if he decides to do a different kind of proxy. But so far, it looks like the exact same thing as the f uh, last game and the first game. Yep. And here and comes he's Astria. Yeah, Eddie's gonna see the gas and know right away that's gonna be Reapers. Yeah, he's gonna take a quick run around the base, see absolutely nothing quickly. Making sure to scout this spot as well to make sure Zeno's not kind of like mind gaming him or anything. Like I'm hitting hiding in barracks in my base, so it's not actually a proxy, but blah blah blah. blah. You know what I mean? And okay, so Reaper's coming out. We'll see if a second SCV comes out again to go uh, do a proxy factory. Um, oh, he's actually putting a bunker. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, this is right onto the ledge, yeah, so right he could just ha hop right onto this, and he actually can't get behind so this spot either. Cover. Yeah, this Reaper can actually cover the SCV building the bunker. If it can get there in time, yeah, though. He's actually going to lose this bunker, though. It's yeah. He needs to cancel that. Oh, man, the Zealot's coming out, too. Oh, man. Right, so this is actually already going a little bit south for Xenocide right now. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Oh, Ooh, he's it? almost... You almost got trapped. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Yes. Oh no. Very Ooh. nice control from Xenocider. But the Mothership Core comes out. And this is going to deny any further Reaper aggression, really. Yeah, and he's not. Uh, Xeno, that is. He's not choosing to proxy another factory. Oh, wait. Where's that? That's in space. Okay. So he's not doing the proxy factory and whatnot that he's been doing other times. So he's going to. I'm guessing go a little bit longer. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what his follow-up is going to be, but this indicates that he wants to at least play a somewhat more standard game. And Astria, look at this, he's yeah. already proxying an early pylon, so he's just anticipating him to do the exact same thing again, when it, in reality, he's actually just doing it in base, so he's probably not going to be aggressive with the Widow Mines until he has like a decent Venus amount of points either. metaing Astria a bit here, because for the past three games, uh, or two games, or three, three games? It's been three? Three. Yeah, the past three games, he's just pro like he's just proxied hardcore, just continuing to proxy all his production buildings. But now he's actually choosing to play somewhat standard, so this might actually throw Astrea off a bit. But we'll have to see. Yeah, where's I was expecting him to actually get an early Robo, um, because yeah. he'd be like, oh, he's doing the proxy reaper. Where's the Bruno mine coming at? But yeah, exactly. Um, he's not falling for that this time, and he's just getting three extra gateways. He's just gonna four gate uh, Zeno right now because he knows yeah, he's gonna no. start teching, gonna start teching uh, really quickly. Mm -hmm. So he's just gonna bust the front. He's already got two pylons up in there uh, by Zeno's base, and he's gonna just walk in and see all the. Oh no, he didn't go. Oh, he could have gone past that and seen exactly what uh, Zeno had right there. Someone keeps trying to print in my printer. Oh my god. Sorry if that's loud. 
Selena Center actually is making a bunker and is at his ramp, so if this gets completed, he will be able to hold. Uh, I mean, maybe with a good SCD pull. Actually, this map is really bad for an SCD pull to repair the ramp because look how far the base is out uh, and the warp and starts already. And he picks off the SCD right away. The bunker is just halted mid construction. This might be a really f quick final game right here. The SCD is starting uh, to get pulled. Siege tank coming out. And keep in mind that with the current patch, siege tanks don't need uh, to research siege mode. They can just go straight into siege mode. So, yeah, if you can get that out, it might be good, but no, it's not even going to matter. Wow, Astria. 3 1 Xenocider. Too many stalkers. Yeah. Dang, was not expecting that at all, to be completely honest yeah, very with you. Quick 3 1. Um, both, both players playing great games, uh, great control, great strategies out of both players, but Astria just managed to hold against these all ins from Xenocider. Alright, so we're gonna get the second match going as soon as we can. So sit tight and we'll get everyone else in here.